Like oh, no, oh, 16th century, it's 15 yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, first, the first guru is what, 15? 1486 or something, it was the birth Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah. Sikhism, yeah. like all religions, is a collectivized system. It is recording. So right. they're trying to take you know, any collectivized system do, does away with individuality and puts everybody in one bracket. That's why Sikhism, like all religions, doesn't really like um, um, caste systems because it, it gives individuality to people and, and they can't be controlled as easily. Well, no, the reason but why then everything's a soul. No, I'm going to say so. Every, the reason why Sikhs have like uh, castes is because against the Sikh religion. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, because that's yeah, yeah. So, when, when not, obviously, when you see before Sikhs and things like you had like, a very rigid caste system, which obviously there was no white people there, so it couldn't have been the white people that put it there. It was because a, a lot of people want to make No, 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 you can't have a rigid caste system without white people. Yeah, yeah. Because only white yeah, people can do that. Uh, that yeah, so we, we have this narrative at the park by speakers corner all over the place that he, the white man, the white man, but what yeah. they don't realise is a seven, eight thousand year history exactly. of oppression within India without the white person. And a lot of that has to do with the past as well. Well can I say the Brahmin were originally European? Oh Steve. Big up Tommy Robinson, he's free. Free. Oh uh, free Tommy free Robinson, we got him out. Yeah. We got him out, we got him out, so well done. Yeah, so what, what is your, do you know about the uh, uh, Aryan invasion theory? Yeah, 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 I do. Well, I mean, the Dravidians are there first, don't they? And they're Aryans coming from the north. So your northern Indians are people who've sort of come south from, from Persian others at some point. Possibly. So do you know very controversial? controversial? Yeah, possibly. Do you agree that they came in different waves? I don't know enough. Look, I, I'm, what I don't like to do, and a lot of people do, is they get a theory and they don't know for sure and then they become absolutely fixated. Sorry, in this case, I don't know. But the thing is, um, like, I've been researching this for quite a while and I always assume that, you know, this kind of like Aryan invasion theory was a, was a British myth to kind of manipulate Indians into thinking that there was always white people there. But, like I said, a lot of people keep going, because I did, my mum done a DNA test. Yeah. And uh, when she done a DNA test, it come out very weird. Like, uh, it come out with 3% Finnish, 1% Central Asian, 1% uh, Papua New Guinea, 1% uh, uh, Native American. And so, I was like, alright, so where did this kind of like, Finnish is obviously in Europe. So there might be some truth to this uh, Aryan invasion theory at some point. I mean, of course, these, when you look at the genetic yeah. pattern, yeah, we they're, there, no. they're, they're a genetic group that includes Estonian, yeah. people into Russia. Russia, and that sort of thing. So, uh, and the, the Papua New Guineans also include the people who live in the Andaman. So, yeah. And the South Meridian. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, so you, you can see there's a mix. I mean, I'm a mix between um, Northern European and Jewish. So, you know, um, so you, uh, you know, I, I've done my own genetic testing, so I can see, I can see that spread a bit too. But, and there, there is a massive controversy with this particular topic because, you know, because the BJP, who are fascist, racist, uh, Nazis in India, are uh, what they what they want to do is that they disagree strongly with this Aryan invasion theory, whereas the Dravidians agree with it strongly because obviously the Dravidians want to see themselves as their original indispensable. Well, but but, 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 but the BJP are more yeah. moderate than like what, Shiv Sena. What the BJP? Yeah, more moderate than Shiv Sena even who are going to be bothered from. Yeah, I mean, but, but you have to understand that the BJP is part of the RSS, and the RSS is a very extreme group that is non-political in terms of being elected. So the, the RSS is like the BNP. Uh, that it, a, not the BNP, you're talking about the far-right group, like NF or something like that. And so they're extreme, but their political side is the BJP, which is the moderate kind of face of their party. So they are very extreme. They, they, but, then, but then, what other effect of the opposition is there to um, Congress? Um, there isn't really. There, there isn't really. I, I, I mean, mean, even in the Punjab, they normally do coalitions. So the BJP uh, has actually had a coalition with the uh, Akali Dal party, I think. And so there has been coalitions because there's not many parties around around India. Look, Congress, look, Congress is now in Punjab. Since late 1984, Congress has now won the election for the first time since the. Um, 1984 issues. Amrinda, Amrinda, Amrinda Singh. Yeah. So we had Baldal before for God knows how long, and now we got Amrinda. Yeah. So the thing, is, the thing is with the, the, the Aryan invasion theory, I believe that you should just look at facts, yeah? even if it's uncomfortable. And the thing is, the, the, there is some weird you know, anomalies over in North India. Compared to, when you look at South India, if you look at the Indus Valley civilization, it was a very 
uh, un, what I say, militaristic civilization. I think the missing, the and that, that is in tune with Dravidians, because Dravidians are not very, what, what you call, uh, aggressive. And so I can't imagine a double race not having no swords and chariots and stuff like that. It's misleading to call it an Aryan invasion, because it was more of a Scythian invasion, yeah. and it came in four Remember ways. the word Aryan is not... Well, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have any real meaning. The word Aryan, let's take out, it's, it's, it's been hijacked by the Nazis, it just means a noble person, uh, the same with the swastika, so we need to reclaim these things and not be too hung up about the, the wording. So we call it the Aryan invasion period because it's probably the easiest one that people can understand. But obviously the people that came over were not going to be like white beyond here people, they probably would have been more Central Asian. Although oh, interesting, they found in, in Western China, they dug up bodies um, of guys wearing essentially part of trousers with red hair. Right. So sort of Celtic tribes move. There's been some myths in Japan as well about red headed. There are no, there are red headed people right in the very north, they're called the Ainu. Oh, right. And they're, they're still there. Yeah. But it's not entirely a myth. But so many people's nationalism is obsessed like the Chinese will just deny this happened. Yeah. It's there. Why, why why do you have a worry about that? Why do you have a worry that people have moved all over the place? Because it, it doesn't suit um, the needs of nationalism. Now Congress have done this thing for years that um, whenever they get upset they'll, they'll bring up Britain. Oh, we did this and I, remember, <laughs> I can't remember the name of this guy. There's a, there's a guy, he's very eloquent, he speaks English with a pure English accent, and I can't remember, and he's constantly moaning about something to do with empire. But somebody shouts out, don't talk about Britain stealing from you I when, know your, Congress, when yeah, your yeah. Congress party has stolen ten he times does, as much. He comes on British TV yeah, yeah, and you, you, know, <laughs> you are just a lick spittle of the Gandhi family. And, all, and while they have looted India, you know, just, just have a look at the Beaufort scandal or any of another way that the Gandhis have absolutely looted India, and yet they wander around as if they're not responsible for anything. Uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, one of the issues I had is there's a lot of kind of like uh, mysticism about particular characters, like Indra, I mean, what's his name, uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Sorry, Mahatma Gandhi wasn't a saint, he was a, it was a bit of a weird character. Oh, right. do, you know what he told, do you know what he told to Jewish people in the 1930s when they're threatened by the Nazis? Do you know what he told Jewish people to do? He said, you should all collectively commit suicide to shame the Germans. Gandhi actually said that, you should collectively commit suicide. Well, that, thing, that's the, what you should do. The thing about uh, in the, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, a lot of people kind of... Uh, like, I, I have an issue with this, like, if you look at Churchill, if, when people try and look at Churchill, they have a very mixed view of Churchill. They do, exactly. And a lot of people say he was like this and like that. But when you when you look at in the, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, yeah, because for help? some reason he's been kind of like uh, made into some saint, <laughs> but in reality he was a racist. Uh, if you look at his memoirs from uh, South Africa and the way he spoke about black people, he was he was more racist than whites. Yeah, and then he. he but, then, but then I'd also argue he's just typical of a period. I know, everybody, but, everybody is I know, but, but what I'm trying to say is the hypocrisy. Oh yeah, you, but they try to you, you have like, you know, someone like Winston Churchill who has a checkered uh, history, but they just say, well, you can't support him or uh, just look at that one area and uh, say, oh, he, he, he did save Western civilization from Hitler. Without him, he probably would have crumbled. But he done a lot of bad as well. But when it comes to, um, obviously, when it comes to, like, into the Gandhi and them lot, you have this more kind of like, oh, he's a saint, but they don't want to look at any of the bad points of that guy. Social justice warriors can't cope the, with on the beacon, well, on the beacon, can't cope with nuanced ideas. Yeah. They can't cope. But some people might oh, be, you know, Churchill is a was a, a drunk with severe depression problems who is a product of his time, uh, has a very career, done some incredible things. And for the second time he was prime minister, he was crap because he was too old. And the first time he was brilliant. People they can't understand the idea. Of, and he didn't get re-elected the second time. After the war, he, he, no, but then he got elected after. Yeah, after. He Only lost in 45, came again in 51. Because King decided to be able to talk. What? No, I think they wanted to be able to change the king's speech. Speech. No, no, no. Oh, no. come on, just. Can, something to do with King's speech. That's 1936. Churchill didn't need the big power then. If you're going to jump in, you know, be, be clued up there. You know, no, no, come in with the. Don't come in with the. At the right time now? With, with, oh, with, no. Don't come in with the nonsense. King's speech is 1936, yeah. And so when it's, did the it's, war it's, start? Under, it's under 1939. Come on, oh, that, how, how many years is that then? Six right. years. Yes, and Churchill wasn't in power then. Yeah, it's 60, and what, what year did Churchill come into power? What year did Churchill come into power? You don't have a clue, do you? Right, so stay behind the camera and just record. Okay, because oh. you don't have a clip. So don't, don't jump in. He's alright, he's alright, leave him alone. Alright, don't jump in and let's get your hand. Ginger. Right. Ginger, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, the reason why Churchill never got re-elected was because people wanted to change. No, no, but after the war, they wanted to no, yeah, change. Yeah. They saw him as a wartime prime minister, and they wanted, uh, obviously, the NHS then coming after that. So, yeah. Although, people Much don't understand, after that. the NHS was started to plan in 1940. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it only came in um, under, uh, so it comes to the Labour government, but it was already planned well before under yeah. the Labour government. Conservative government before, so it's not as if it's here. No, Churchill was then re-elected in 51, but it was falling apart and the government was... Yeah, what, what, what I was trying to say about the Churchill comparison is that you have one individual who obviously done bad but done good, but people couldn't see that. But when it comes to people like Indira Gandhi, or even, let's say, for the sake of... What's her name? Uh, uh, Mother Teresa. She was a terrible person as well. <laughs> But, but that, so, hang on, that all depends on your on on what you were trying to do. Well, I, I mean, look, I, I'm not a Roman oh, Catholic. Yeah. I belong to a different religion. But I'm not. But Mother Teresa is a Roman Catholic, and her intention was to help people get to her Catholic heaven. It yeah. wasn't to save Through their lives. Suffering. Well, she she just thought people. All right. So let me explain. Let me explain why I think Mother suffering. Teresa was a bad person. Because in her time in India, she could have done so much. But what she did, and the one, one reason why I'm criticising her is because she's seen as a saint when she isn't. In India, when she went there, she would set up homes for the destitute. She didn't give them no real kind of medicine or no real kind of comfort. She believed in people being uh, suffering. Just suffering during their lifetime to then get to God. And now, this is the issue I have. When she, got, when she was ill and she was dying, she went to a five-star hospital and she had all the medicine known to mankind. Why did she not live by her own ethos then? Because in reality, she died in, she died in uh, real comfortable conditions where millions of Indians yeah, who could have been saved by sim simple treatment were sent to these uh, house of destitute and left them filled and they died. And also, all the money so that that's was a donated crime, to, crime for to her institutions were given to the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I, it's not like I support it, I'm just no, saying no, no, no. that if you have different points of view... Yeah, yeah. but it's, I, bad. I, it's a bad point of view. You know, if I believe, as some Muslims did, that, that uh, it's absolutely far better to die uh, in the service of Allah than to live, you might as well, yeah, I'll go and do it. Now, the reason why I'm bringing it up is to show the hypocrisy. So you have individuals like Mother Teresa and Gandhi who are bad people themselves, and then you have someone like Winston Churchill who people can just see the bad. But everybody is nuanced in terms of their history. No one's really a saint, but these two individuals are quite also, these are basically these bad things that Churchill was supposed to have done. If you compare him to anybody that was around at the time, what are these bad things? What did he say about Indians? He said Indians well, it was are a terrible race of people. I believe there was uh, things that he didn't believe that handicapped sure children right, right, right. should be Make sure you say you're joking because they want oh, to understand Oh, that. I'm joking. Dear <laughs> yeah, SJW girls with blue hair and stupid glasses. Can I say something? Before you say, I'm going to call you well, out. Is it, the people watch these videos here are retards half of them. Yeah, and they so do not understand sarcasm. So you need to <laughs> explain that. Yeah, yeah, so How about uh, Bing? Um, his ability not to look after the mentally disabled church. Sorry, right, well, hang on, let's just go, let's just go. <laughs> and believe in Alright, alright, here's what you say, as you say, yeah. Mother Teresa did these bad things, she certainly did from our point of view, and then you go, oh, and this person said something. So he said something, so what? So, um... Well, some of these actions did cause uh, negative effects in India. Well, alright. Yeah, some of the famines were... Yeah. Right, we've got about the Bengal family here, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that's really important that people like to look at that. Now, what people don't realise a lot of it, what caused the famine? The famine was caused by a number of things. First of all, Bengal has never been able to feed itself. Never. It's always imported foodstuffs in. It was rich because it produced jute. And jute was needed to make ropes the world over. So Bengal was very rich, but it couldn't feed itself. England is rich, England cannot feed itself. Right? That's something people should know. We have to buy our food in. Bengal had to buy food in. So you've got the middle of the 1940s. Bengal gets all its food from where? Burma. Burma is now occupied by the Japanese. There is no food to come in. So what do they do next? Well, it's in the middle of the war, so we can't easily ship food in. What we can try and do is buy food from other parts of India. Now, here's what people don't realise. India at the time, each state of India actually had their own parliament. People don't understand that. They were actually had local self-rule, there was no national rule, and the local parliaments were going, no, we're putting a law in and we're not allowing you to export food. So Uttar Pradesh would not export food to Bangladesh. They actually stopped exporting food. But isn't that how British... Easy, easy, no, we didn't know. 
No, no, because because the India was never unified in terms of. Wait, wait, wait. Why did that be in our interest to be occupied? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm but it's but it's like, no, but that's yeah. but that's almost like oh, that's the Britain. It wasn't us who, who did that. We're trying to fight a war, and we're we're on the edge of starvation here at the moment. Remember, Battle of the Atlantic. We're within eight weeks of starvation in late 1941, early 1942. We don't have food coming in ourselves. It's not as if we can just send food over. We can't. We can try and get food in from Australia. Uh, and in fact, a lot of the time we sent over biscuits that were used by the army and then they refused to eat them because they, they weren't used for the food. Then as well, you've got really bad weather, so which means fishermen can't go out. There's, there's, there's all sorts of factors and at the time there's not enough food that can get in. And yet people try and make it as Britain on purpose had a famine in its, one of its own provinces during the war. No, I, I don't, Why would they do I, that? I don't, I don't say that myself. I don't think they're all disfavored. Well, it's, 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 it's a national it's, disaster. It's the same it's like, the, the, same like the, uh, uh, Irish potato famine. Uh, Britain didn't help the matters, but they didn't, you can't create a famine yourself. Uh, so there was uh, circumstances that... I mean, there was war. actually a potato blight which wiped out the potatoes. Yes, yeah. yeah. So Let's go to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Just been holding it. Sorry, we're back in about three days. Sorry. Sorry, I'm Jasmine. Oh, my name is Deep. I think we met a few weeks ago, six, seven weeks ago, down there. I know, I think so, yeah. You were there, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Deep for sure. Yeah, that was the point. My money. And the Roman Catholic Church, when they were giving donations, I'll just carry on the use that money to build churches. I'm just going to go. So, what do you think about Carl, he was a collectivist. I don't think he was That's very pro democracy. Turkey shall wear everything. Do you have a tremor? I know, I'm just calling from the sky. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this man is very upset, by the way. That, uh, I, I, he's absolutely furious and spitting in my face because I dared to put a nuanced affair on, to, because I put a sort of nuanced affair on the, on the Irish potato family. Trying, 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 trying to say why. I know an awful lot about the Irish potato family. I'm sure you just came in. I'm just, by the look of you, you were there. Yes, I probably do. Yeah, no, look, if you're going to do a joke, make up your own one. Don't just copy mine. Right, okay. Could you just go ever so slightly? I'm a fat pig like me. So therefore, I'm in the potato famine, but I'm a fat pig. There's a problem with that one. Yeah, well, there we go. Come on, come on, guys. Oh, uh, no, I don't. Uh, I'm a So, so let's get back to the point. So. No, it, it's, what was your issue with yeah. what you said, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Can you, can, can we, can we, oh, can you, 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 can He's a standard buffoon. <laughs> Only into a nationalist. Uh, 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 he can't deal with the nuanced idea of history, and everything just has to be full of natural myth. In his view, the evil, wicked English intended to go in. That so? There's plenty of traitors in our own country. <laughs> There's plenty of white people who watch this video and say, who is this fascist Nazi? He's a fascist. No, I, I think you might overtake my spot as the most hated man of speakers. I could do. I think he's going to overtake it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not new to here. I don't want you 30 years ago. I don't so, want um, you stealing my hatred from the Lima. I love the hate, so give it all to me. Don't give it to me. But him. people do also. People Free the milk. Most people <laughs> don't decide to kill other people for no particular reason. You know, yeah, they do. Problems happening. Um, sometimes they do, but not very often. A lot. Things, things happen. The potato famine certainly wasn't orchestrated. So, what you're guys. saying is things are much more serious. Things are not serious. They're always more serious. That's from Terminator. No, they don't. Things, the people things are, want not, to, are not black and white. People want to be, have binary That's thinking. Right. These people are all bad. These people are all bad. They're all sheep, they so they can't speak. Don't worry, so you're in the camera, I'm right? Not, I'm one of the 5%. <laughs> no, you're not. But, but the main issue is to find most people when they everything. object. They can't tell you a reason why they object. They'll just tell you, you're an idiot. You don't know. Research yourself. Educate yourself. Look up some point. I say we should just go in and conquer it. You don't want to conquer anything. I more. do. Conquering, conquering countries cost money. I miss it as a Turk. How do you know so much about India? <laughs> yeah, I'm not Turks trying to want to conquer it. Uh, you seem to know we need some more white meat. Well, there is two. I mean, I do have quite a broad knowledge. I mean, I, 
I won I won one of Britain's more famous police programs oh, my wow. team some years ago. Oh, is it, Who's that? Oh, wow. oh look, get out of the camera if you don't want to be in the camera, man. But I am right. trying to block you in. You, you get right in the guy's face and you want to be on film. Yeah. Which, which university? Well to stand in front of people's faces <laughs> and Is it Oxbridge? No, I didn't actually. No, I went to Birkbeck. Which is was a, it was oh, yeah. Day when you, you know, yes, it's Patrick. Oh, wow. Well yeah. done. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'll take that back what I said earlier in the thing. You better apologise to I just did. Birkbeck is a nighttime time yes. Patrick was here just around two months ago. Seriously? Churchill Birkbeck is the University of London. Churchill Birkbeck is the University of Well done. You know what, can I say something? Anybody that goes on University Challenge, that plays here. When you watch that programme, it fries your brain. Doesn't it, Charles? I'm happy when I get one answer for it. We won in 2003. Oh, well done. And then we had four twins. Oh, wow, alright. Oh, poor. Is that where they lost the IQ? Oh, so, oh, so you've been to, you've been to India? I've worked in India. Oh, you've worked in India? Yeah. Worked He's more Indian than you are, Rod. Oh, you're doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a voice actor, by the way. Oh, Bollywood. So, I have I've been in Bollywood. I'm going to start the set of films there. So, um, give me the thumbnail. How many trees have you danced around? <laughs> you know what I don't dance around. Oh, you racist. Oh, look out of the shot. We don't dance around trees. Yeah, we do it. Shot. <laughs> I hate everyone equally. Uh, I am a racist, I hate everyone equally. That's him that said that. I've broken down by the. I don't want to be on any channel that would accept me. Okay, could you, could you Which is strange, no, it's strange. This is more entertaining than the whole. It's strange because. Could you put in drive some money on the phone? Can I just ask you? You're looking for a broken down white man. Who would you choose? Me? Okay, who's going to protect him? Who's going to protect him? What voice are you going to be? How strong your army going to be? How strong your army going to be? Let's get it back to Raj's corner. Let's get back to Raj's corner. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm being threatened here. This is hilarious. I'm being threatened by this man here. Hang on, hang on. I've got to say something. Please you've got to this. admire, you've got to admire his chutzpah, haven't you? You've got to admire a guy like that yeah. who comes and says, "Listen, mate, happened, yo. you're lucky you're in Hyde Park. I caught you outside." Is it it's it's it. Also, so, oh, mate, yeah, look, know, look, mate. You know, I gotta say, respect, respect where it's due. Respect where it's due. Granddad, so Granddad's going OG. I'd be liking more now. Bizarrely, I've actually played Russian gangsters on Indian TV. So All right. Can you, can you give us a sample of your work? Yeah. Like, like auditions or something. Like, listen, oh, 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 oh. you do look like a Russian. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Listen, Thanks stupid society. Indian man. Oh. Why are you talking to me? I'll fucking kill you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. That's called. Okay. Will you start Clip crying and doing the bitch? <laughs> <laughs> okay. SJWs are going mad. What are you doing against the Russians? Oh, wait, the Russians, I think because Russians are quite scary. Oh, okay. No, no, we were oh, like, 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 like a candid camera yeah. in the yeah. India, right. and they had all these, these Indian uh, tourist guides. Yeah. And then they got onto a, a uh, they, get, they get onto like a coach. Yeah. And this, this, this Russian guy runs on and asks, says, well, my idiot boyfriend's coming to get me. But I came onto the, um, I come onto the bus and uh, you know start swearing at people and shouting. At people. See, this guy knows more about India because he's been there. Well. Yeah. I do want to ask you quite a serious question. <laughs> sure. Hindu. I, I ask, when you have a, a white person going to India, do you think you're treated different to say other races? So if you're oh, yeah. yeah, I've seen that myself. Oh, big time. So your country's racist. Yeah, it's very racist. Well, every every people in the world are racist. No, because one, one, one thing I have kind of observed um, like through watching TV is that. Even people that are darker skin, when they go to India, they'll be treated differently. If you're white, you're treated like you could just be any old. So guy. basically, well, it's, 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 does he have priority over you, <laughs> you in your own you, country? Would you agree with that? In India, when they see a white person for some reason, maybe the colonials, or, 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 or there's always fascination with light skin for some reason in India well, through the class system. system and that's pre-colonialism so you can't bring the white people did you feel that when you were in India? Well, well first thing the, the most prejudiced Indians have are against Indians from other parts of India that's the first thing but us like, like if you go to a different part they go oh you're rich people from, from down there therefore we'll rip you off or they confuse but I mean, for instance, I would only eat in, I only eat in Hindu restaurants in India because I'm fish there and out there. So. Oh, well done. Oh, so, you so, sad so, dog. So I, I went to the only eat there though. But when you go in there, and I'll go into the sort of lower middle class restaurants and sort of police sergeants or junior clerks in, I'm like, I'm the only white guy from Marvel. And they're just amazed. They'll go, 
This is only measure. You can get down and have a chance. You're going to do the head wobble. He's done it before. He's done it before. He did it before. He did it before. No, he did it before. I had to, I had to, do, I had to do like a disclaimer. He's only joking. He's don't, 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 don't be doing that. I was working with you. If you know that you're racist, I was walking from Mumbai. He's a friend of mine. He said, You've been in Mumbai too long. I said, How do you know? He said, You've just touched a cow. Why did you touch a cow? I said, I don't know. Just everybody's in Mumbai. Just touched a cow. You know, and you just start putting up habits. You've been in India too long, your head's wobbling. Your head's wobbling. <laughs> You've just given money to that lady boy who's coming to stop her cursing you. Have <laughs> you, know, you ever been on the train and they, uh, what are they called? They, um, they're like the... Like lady boys. No, oh, the lady boys. Lady boys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How come you don't know? This time I'm in India. Which time I'm in India? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Lady boys. But, but they come on, and you can see, because all the Hindu guys are getting out their small coins to pay them off. And all the Muslims go. <laughs> and, then, they, 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 and, then, and then when they get off the bus, they're the first customers. Oh! 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 Alright, can we wrap this up? Because my arms are getting tired. Yeah, we're we're going to wrap this up here. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have another conversation. This camera facts. Well, so. Do you come here and speak this corner regularly? Do you know, not so regularly. I used to. I'm, I first came here back in the 1980s. Yeah. I am that old. And because um, I sort of grew up not very far from here. So on and off, I see you come in and out. I like this guy. He's very really direct. Yeah, so, you he like mad India, people. I love like people. But India's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm in India, there's too many you know Indians. the best thing about India when you go over there? Indian food's better in India than it is in India. I think that's, that's, that's the best thing about India. The best thing about India is leaving. <laughs> yeah, Paul. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> you were going to say the best thing about India is when you leave. No, I'm joking. India, not Punjab. We love Punjab, man. India is not the same. Tommy Robinson. Oh, wait, 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 hey, 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 hey. Anyway, we went, we went to leave it then. Oh, I'd love to talk to you about the Aryan invasion theory next time. Right? All right. Yeah. I'll research yeah, a bit more. About what invasion? Aryan invasion theory. Oh, the the whites, basically. White man conquering India again. Oh, <laughs> All right, can we cut it now? <laughs> 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 <laughs>